watchful city right under a city in the heart of Gaza. And we are talking about hospitals, schools and mosques, all of these civilian structures that have now been turned into terror tunnels. As the IDF in its ground raids so far as are not a sprawling underground front line of the Hamas terror group, which is a clinching proof of the terror group's depravity. What actually looks like a hospital to treat patients is actually Hamas's command center. Israeli ground forces last week have unearthed a terror tunnel right beneath the one of the biggest hospitals in Gaza, the Al Shifa Hospital. The tunnels that were shut with blast proof doors but the idea broke into those doors and what they exactly found was air conditioned rooms kitchens, working toilets and arm cash as well. Now, in fact, the IDF has published two images, one of them showing the open door and the other one further inside the tunnel. There is also a video that actually shows how functional these terror networks, these terror tunnels were right beneath the Al Shifa hospital in Gaza. In the Shifa hospital compound, we're underneath the ground. We are approximately between the Qatarian building is above us, and this is the way to the street, meaning this is a way that goes out outside from the hospital. We are talking about a tunnel, which is more than this, only this specific area is more than 300 meters of a tunnel. So this area goes directly outside of the hospital, approximately to one of the areas outside, maybe a mosque, maybe an apartment. It's blocked. It's blocked and sealed. They knew that we were going to come here more than a month ago and they sealed it. And now we're going to see the infrastructure of the tunnel. This tunnel is a, is a complex tunnel. It's not, a, it's not the ones that we know. It's more convenient for a long living, like you have toilets and you have rooms. Rooms that were built in order to contain people. But this room is an operational room that had communication with electricity provided from the sources of the hospital, meaning the hospital is providing electricity. This room was evacuated, all the gear was evacuated. I guess it was evacuated when they, when they knew or understand that we're going to enter into Shifa Hospital. Show you more rooms, more rooms. This is a room. Yeah, where you can sleep, eat, make command control. It also has an air conditioning. This air conditioning goes above the hospital. One of the reasons that allows us to understand this complex is that we found the engine or the air conditioning, of course, outside, next to the Qatari uh, compound, inside the hospital, electricity, full electricity. The gear that was inside here was evacuated before we entered, but look at the ceiling. This is not just a, it's not just a regular tunnel. This is a high facility compound. We just entered the Shifa complex. Behind me is the wall that guards it. This is the Qatari building. And we're here to see the tunnels and to go inside. What they discovered here in the last 48 hours is baffling just more evidence that hamas uses this place as a command and control center and as a terrorist hub underneath this hospital we see all the equipment that the fighters found here we're getting down into a major shaft of a tunnel this is a qatari complex above me we see the wiring going through it it's pretty easy to get down We went into the tunnel. Right now we're going under the Qatari compound. It's very dark. The walls are moist. There are multiple rooms here that we're opening. This appears to be a bathroom. Another room with an AC. The wiring to that AC uh, helped the combat fighters realize that there's a tunnel here. And if we're moving on, walking down that tunnel, now we know that this connects to the network of tunnels that Hamas holds in Gaza. Underneath sensitive spots like hospitals, holding the civilians of Gaza hostage and 
abusing their right to medical treatment, to human rights, and to any base human right that they have.